friends, welcome back to my channel. And it is actually Wednesday, so happy Wednesday. It's just about 7 a.m. and I'm here at WW because I am weighing in this morning since we are leaving tomorrow, Thursday, to head out of town until Saturday evening to go camping. I cannot wait. We rented a cabin. We cannot wait to stay right on the lake. Diesel gets to swim. We are bringing our four-wheeler. We're gonna roast marshmallows walk around, just really have a nice, relaxing weekend. So I'm here to weigh in before Friday because I won't be here on Friday. So a little bit about my week so far. It's been a short one. As you know, I weighed in last Friday, so it's actually only been Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. So four days so far this week, but it's been good. My week so far, so good. I have walked every day this week, Monday, Tuesday, and even this morning before I came to Weight Watchers. Look at me go. And I'm going to walk again tomorrow morning before we head out of town. So overall, my week actually has been really, really good. There is a downside. And the downside is Shark Week is here. So not happy about that at all. I don't need Shark Week when I'm trying to go camping, but it started on Monday and it's now Wednesday. So it's really one of the worst days for me. So I don't know how that's gonna affect my weigh in. Um, I stepped on the scale at home on Monday and I was down. So I'm hoping that that has continued. Again, I started Shark Week on Monday. So by today I'm feeling way worse, way more bloated, way less good. So I don't know. We'll see how it affects the scale when I hop on it this morning. But again, it's been four days. So we'll see what type of weight loss I can have over the four days. I will stay for the meeting and then I'm going to head into work. I will be filming a meeting recap and a weigh-in recap. And I've been forgetting you guys to show you the recipe on the back of the weekly. So let me know down in the comments if that's something that you guys want to see. No one has said anything. So if you don't really care about the recipe on the back of the weekly, let me know. And I just want to include that in future videos. But I will put it into this one for you. So let me know your guys' thoughts on that. So I'll be back in a flash to share the workshop recap and my way in. Hey guys, I just got to work from my WW workshop and I wanted to share with you what we discussed. I was absolutely pleasantly surprised at the topic of the WW workshop. I think it's something that we forget a lot about in our weight loss journey. We're so focused on losing weight. We're so focused on the number on the scale, getting in our exercise, prepping and planning our food and not eating this and not eating that, that we forget to be grateful, to be grateful for all of the wonderful things in our life. So it was really nice to have a topic that really focused on gratitude versus the number on the scale and losing weight. So today we talked a lot about reflecting and focusing on the things in your life that you're thankful for, that you're grateful for. So what about your family, your friends, how far you've come so far on your journey, your financial stability, your job, your pets, the beautiful flowers that grow in your front yard. Take time to really be thankful and grateful for the things in your life that positively impact not only your day-to-day -day living, but also your weight loss journey as a whole. As a whole, healthier, happier people that are grateful and show gratitude make better health choices. It's a fact. You will bounce back from setbacks a lot easier. Bouncing back from a gain, bouncing back from a bad meal, a bad week, a bad way in. You will bounce back from those setbacks a lot easier when you have a grateful, happy, positive mindset. Plus you look at things along your weight loss journey a lot differently. If you do overindulge, you look at it positively and you say, well, you know what? I'm grateful for how far I've come on my journey and I'm going to start over fresh the next meal or the next day. So when we show gratitude for the positive things in our life, overall, our weight loss journey is more successful it's less stressful. We feel better about everything in our day-to-day -day life and the weight tends to fall off a lot faster. And when it doesn't, we look at it on a positive note so that we can correct our actions and see that scale begin to drop again. So this week, we're gonna have a gratitude challenge. There's gonna be three things that I want you to do along with me this week to help increase our positive mindset and show a little bit more gratitude for where we've come. So the first thing is think about the last 24 hours and think about something that you are grateful for. Maybe it was something as simple as a walk in the park, or maybe someone gave you a big smile at the grocery store that just 
made your day. Think back over the last 24 hours and focus on one or even more if you can come up with them, things that you are grateful for. Four. Number two is take a minute and write down all of the details of that event in your life in the last 24 hours that you are grateful for. When, what, where, and with who. Write it all down. Really absorb and focus on the positivity. Remember how grateful you were when that event in your life happened. And remember, you guys, these things happen every single day. In our life, there is always, always something on a daily basis. I would say, I would venture to say, even on an hourly basis, that we should be thankful and grateful for. And number three, note how you felt before, after, and during the thing that you're grateful for that happened in the last 24 hours. How did you feel? Were you happy? Were you grateful? Were you elated? Were you smiling? Were you tearful with tears of joy? How did you feel when it was happening and also after it happened? And maybe even think about how you were feeling before. Maybe you were having literally the worst day ever and that clerk in the grocery store gave you the biggest smile and the warmest welcome and all of a sudden you were grateful for the day and you were grateful that you came in that grocery store and that you encountered that wonderful, wonderful woman who made your entire day. I think it's really important important for us to really focus on the positive and the things that we are grateful for every single day. So this week, my challenge to both myself and to you is to focus on one thing every day that you are grateful for. Write it down, reflect on it, and maybe you want to share it in the comments below next way in next Friday, and we'll see what we decided that we as human beings were grateful for for this last week. Now let's talk about weigh-in. So like I mentioned before I went in, it is Shark Week, my least favorite week of the entire month. I'm actually feeling kind of today, a little bit bloated, a little bit crampy. I did go on my walk this morning. And then after I got home, I was like, oh no, is that going to play into my weight loss? Because usually, you know, your muscles are sore, so they're retaining a little bit of fluid, but it's okay. I was happy to go on my walk, glad to get it out of the way. So despite everything, despite the walking this morning, despite it being shark week and the worst week ever, when I stepped on the scale, I lost just shy of one pound. I lost Point eight. Now, you guys, that is in four days. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And Saturday, I used my weeklies. So really, three days of being on track, and I lost almost an entire pound. So what does that mean if I'd have weighed in on Friday? Would I have lost maybe a pound and a half, maybe two pounds? What would have happened on Friday when I weighed in? So we shall never know because I will be at the lake. But I am very, very happy that I lost almost an entire pound pound this last week. Well, this last four days. How exciting is that? So my plan for camping this weekend is I'm on track today, which is Wednesday. I'm on track tomorrow, which is Thursday. I'm actually going to use my weeklies on Friday because that's the day that we are going to be up at the cabin the entire day. So I want to be able to have a big breakfast with my husband. I want to be able to have s'mores. I want to indulge in my very favorite beer, which is the Lean and Kegel Summer Shandy. I love that beer. And you guys, I'm a one beer girl. Like I just like one beer. I like good quality craft beer. None of that light, Bud Light, Coors Light doesn't really do it for me. But that beer is actually only four points. So not bad, but I want to be able to have that. I'm going to be getting in a ton of exercise this entire weekend. And then we're coming home Saturday. So of course I'll be back on track Saturday and my week essentially starts over at that point. So I have a plan. I got a game plan and I'm going to lose hopefully a lot when I step on the scale next Friday because it's actually going to be a week and a couple of days since I weighed in. So looking forward to that weigh in. Really excited to really focus on the things that I'm grateful for this next week. I'm really going to take on that challenge full force. And speaking of challenges, make sure that you are part of my Facebook group. I'm going to put that right here on the screen because I have a challenge that I'm going to be doing the third week of June and I'd love it if you guys would join me and then I'm going to film that challenge and I'm going to post it here on my YouTube channel. But in order to know all of the details and take part in the challenge, make sure you join my Facebook group because I'm going to be posting all of the details there. I'm really excited about this. It's something that a lot of you have been asking me about questions, comments. I did this, it worked for me. I did this, it didn't work for me. So I want to do a little trial myself. So 
looking forward to a brand new challenge the third week of June. So join my Facebook group to take advantage and participate with me. I would love to have all of you as part of my challenge buddies. So comment down below. I want to hear how your week went. Was it good? Was it bad? How was your weigh-in? Was it what you expected? Did you stay on track? I want to hear what you are grateful for. Please, one thing that you're grateful for, and I'll share with you right now, I am grateful 100% for my fur babies. They are literally the light of my life. I look forward to seeing them every day. They put a smile on my face. Just seeing a photo of them just melts my heart. I'm so thankful for all the joy that they bring to my life, and I couldn't imagine not having them. They are seriously my world. They're the light of my life. So I'm so grateful for the joy and happiness that Diesel and Lola bring to me every single day, every minute of every day. So again, if you're new, make sure that you subscribe, hit that little notification bell so you're notified every time that I upload a new video. Make sure you give this guy a thumbs up, comment down below. Let me know what you're grateful for and how your week went. I love you guys so much. I'm also really extremely grateful for all of you and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye. <laughs>